Hi, this is Blue Ridge Dave, and today's video will be different than what you normally see on my channel. You won't see any trains, and you won't see any wildlife. This is a repair for a Nikon DSLR. This is a D600. The gentleman I got it from said that the autofocus stopped working. He sent it in to Nikon service for repair. They gave him an estimate of $275, which he thought was high and declined. He sold it to me pretty cheaply, and today we're going to fix it. If this video helps you in any way, please consider sending me a super thanks through YouTube. Or you can buy me a coffee with the link in the description. So let's get to the video and repair this camera. Okay, so what we have here is a Nikon that's not autofocusing. And you see this pin that locks your lens on. And this is the autofocus mechanism. But if you press this, this pin doesn't move. This does. But it's not sticking out. So you see, this doesn't move. Now this is an old body that I had that I got from someone who said autofocus didn't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this ring off, the bayonet ring. And we're going to lubricate this. That's what we're going to do. Keep in mind, when you take this bottom screw out, it's different than the other screws. I still have one more. This one's different. Okay, when we get the screws out, you can watch. This pulls down the whole ring. And basically what it is, is this pin is stuck. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a small screwdriver... And I'm going to tap on this to get it out. It's hard to do holding the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it. And then I'll show you afterward. So you can see I've tapped on it with this. Sort of like knocking it out. And I'm getting that pin out. Once I get it all the way out, then I'll lubricate the pin and we'll test it. Okay, so I've taken the, the ring off. You see here. This is the pin I'm talking about right here. It locks your lens. So now when you press down, you can see how they're moving. Both of them's moving. Take a look here while I'm doing it. You can see it moves now. So what we're going to do is we're going to lubricate this pin. And we're going to lubricate the hole where it goes into. Alright, so this is what I used. And I'm going to put some on this pin. This is some gel, uh, electronic gel that I got a long time ago. It's multi-purpose and you can read the back there. I've had this for a long time and I've used it on a lot of different things. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit on this pin and then we're going to put some on that hole that's on the bayonet. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here and I'm going to clean it up after I get the bayonet back on. But we're just putting a little bit on here and I'm going to wipe off the excess and then we're going to put that back together and see if it works. Okay, I put it back on there temporarily just to show you. And you can watch this pin now. This pin moves. So I've got to go ahead and clean up the rest of this. And then put the screws back in. But you can see now it moves. And this sticks out a lot further now than it did before. So let's put it back together and let's check it and see if it works. Now I was talking about one of the screws are different. This one in the middle, you see how it has this little sleeve? That's the one that goes in the bottom of the camera. So it's going to go in this hole down here. Just keep in mind, there is five screws, but only one with that little sleeve on it, like right there. Okay, so now you can see this pin. Put a little bit of that lubricant on it, and you can see it moves perfectly fine now. So I'm going to test the camera and see if it will all focus and let you know. We use live view here just so you can see, but it is working. You can see. Before, it wouldn't focus at all. There you go.